So my plans for this top level of the house was to turn it into the ultimate parents retreat. And for Jason and I, we're always working. So we wanted to have an open office space that was bright, light, lots of airflow. We're better than up here on the top level. So this is one of the few spaces in the house that actually isn't gonna undergo major structural change. So what was the living space is now gonna be transformed into the office. And there was a window opening there, but we're putting in some new glass and are gonna build it out to be a picture window with a bench seat. And the terrace will get a little bit smaller, but it's still way big enough for an ultimate parents retreat. Okay, so even though it says retreat. Uh, it's not a retreat. It's an office, <laughs> which is my retreat. retreat. That is your retreat. So that's an office, that massive space at the moment yeah. at your house is an office. Yeah. I'm just thinking, just a desk, you know, like I've sort of drawn in there. Yeah, and okay. I'm, I'm thinking a picture window. Oh, wow, you know, okay. Oh, yeah, window. we can really okay. style that beautifully. We should put a big chandelier over your office table so at least it looks nice. Outdoor terrace, I'm totally obsessed with these two images. I love this one, looks so relaxed. And even though it's got a thatched roof, we're not gonna do that. I just love how white it is and how relaxing it is. So for the office space, everything is gonna anchor around the picture window. And we're really gonna take all the inspiration from the images you see of picture windows in Santorini. Lots of curved edges, no architraves, no window sills, all white, rounded, rendered. Hopefully it's going to look amazing. We can't replicate the Mediterranean ocean outside, but we'll do our best with some trees and a pool. So this is the wall that I intend to put a huge mirror on. And I think you can already see just how dead it's going to feel even when painted if I weren't to put a big reflective mirror on it. I think it's going to completely open up this landing and make it feel much bigger than it is. You see that framed wall directly behind you? One sheet of mirror on the whole thing. One piece. How about that? If, if we could carry it up here. Okay, but your view is to get a three metre mirror up there, we've got to put it, do it before the stairs. So the uh, soundcheck chip rock is up, which is fantastic, which is an extra tough, extra strong board that's designed to help lower the noise transfer from one room to the next. So the corners have started to go up in the parents' retreat and I'm in love with it. You don't need to just accept a standard 90 mil cove cornice. The cornice can make all the difference in the world and I think it does in this space. Amazing. Yeah. Far out. Hey? Oh, now look, these are the corners. Do you yeah. see the rounded? Yeah, they're gorgeous. So that'll be the rounded Santorini vibe. Yeah, beautiful. So that's hiding an air conditioning vent behind there as well. It enabled the bifolds to get cut back. So that's that's this. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. I'm having an intervention. No. Yes, I am. No. Erin and I are having an no. intervention. No. Yes. There is nothing that makes you feel like that space is small. That space feels friggin' massive. Look at it, it's huge. So I just don't know how a mirror on that wall is suiting anything to do with the aesthetic of the house. We talked about it, you know. You gave it a thumbs up. That's my concern, is that the mirror will ruin what you're trying to achieve. I think this reflecting the view is much better than it being Dead. I didn't. I don't think it. It doesn't suit the context of the house. But if you really want it, just get it. I'm not living here. So I've just come outside and found my builders enjoying the pool. And uh, I got to say, I love it. Good on them. It's 34 degrees. So when Adam, our waterproofer, arrived to look at the deck, he'd waterproof about a week and a half ago. He was a bit shocked to see quite a lot of rubbish. And why did that worry you so much? I suppose I don't really acknowledge how important waterproofing is. Like, yeah, it's just, as I sort of came onto the deck, I saw little metal shavings. Um, yeah. All it really takes is someone to step on it and it creates a pinhole. And that's enough to, to have a whole tiled deck ripped up and... Shivers. Um, I, I mean, I didn't even know that. I yeah. saw your sign that said, do not walk yeah. on this, but... I totally get it. Yeah. One pinhole ruins the waterproofing. Yeah. It's all right, everyone. That's a good noise. That's a good I sound. Really want this in my house. Oh my god! I know. Is it not stunning? Oh. 
So in true Santorini style, even though I've never been there, uh, it's very glary out here because of all the white, the reflection off the amazing pavers, and the glass has gone in, which is great. Um, feel a lot safer out here now. So Bon, this is the Bow Concept Extender Table. So just pull in the middle and you watch. And then pull this. Oh, wow, how cool is the leather know, strap? I know, I know. And then lock, just close it. Okay, and up a bit, Lance. We calm Lance, up you get. That looks good. Drop it a little bit, Lance. Drop it a little bit. What else happens here? Yeah, we're still working that. Oh, this is an office. got up there it was like this vast room next to your bedroom and you wanted it as an office which that's cool for you that wouldn't be me I would have it as a lounge and TV and my own little world but you're a worker and you need an office that painting that table those blue chairs the, the window, window the picture window it's just gorgeous because you girls work me into the ground I need a space that I don't want to not go to, to open up my laptop and do work. And Bon, I'm glad you held the intervention. <laughs> no mirror was the right decision. And then the terrace off the office. To be able to open up those bifold doors, go out and sit on that divine King Living Lounge and just enjoy the breeze. I would sit up there yeah. with a glass of wine, a magazine and just... And Friday Arvo. Oh. The, the concrete is very brittle. Oh. Yeah, oh. It's not the best at the moment. Oh my God, Lana! That's what I was talking about! Can you tell me why on earth I put the light switches there?